Hi guys, it's Tyra, Ricky Essentials and Wellness, at 2 South Madison Street in Waban. So, I am on vacation from my day job today, so that means I get to play at the studio all day long, and I keep thinking, oh, I gotta, I gotta do my remote stuff. No, I don't. I do need some water though. Hmm. Hang on a second, I'm going to get some. Nope, not there. Ah, there's a tea. Tea, tea will do. And then I'll drink water. I try to do like, if I want to drink a thing of tea, I make sure I drink just as much water after it before I have something sweet again. And like the same thing with like a mug of tea, if I have creamer in it or if it's a chai tea or something um, I try to drink just as much water in between so here we are on my vacation day and I slept late and I had breakfast and I played with my puppy and Shot the breeze with the kids for a little bit. Spent some time with the hubsters. Did some errands. <gasps> Here I am. So, uh, yeah. What's on the thought pattern for today? Hmm. I'm waiting for... I had, a bite. I had to write a bunch of checks um, to the tax man for business taxes and then, like, state taxes you know like when you charge somebody something and you're charged tax um that i had to write a check for that and so i'm waiting for those to clear before i pay some other little bills like payroll i think it might be a little close but it will be fine just i don't know exactly how close it'll be and then when um people check out my point of sale the cash register um that's got a neat program and things are put into that account automatically then they are um deposited into the store the shop account so that's really neat I, I don't have to think about that as much just depositing you know if we do get cash or checks which is you know checks are pretty rare then I have to take care of those with a manual deposit. But otherwise, so I'm not sure what is automatically deposited. It, it's There's like deposits every day. And so anyway, waiting for that. What else? Um, uh, with some of the previous videos that I have done back here, up behind me, you will sometimes see... There was a really neat one that went up whew, that way. And um, one of my Theta Healing mentors, she is from Britain. And she said that they're fairies. We tried to debunk them with breezes back here and trying to make reflections and everything else. And it, I, I can't do it. Oh, and like blowing on the counter that my phone is resting on right now, blowing on that even to try to like recreate dust so um sometimes that light ooh that one's bright it's like that and it points up you'll see even now i'm still trying to recreate it um I'll turn this one off too there so anyway um in that my Theta Healing mentor, she said that they're fairies, and I, I was able to get a screenshot of one of them, which is really kind of cool, and it really does look like a fairy. I mean, we're talking wings and little legs, and I don't have them. There's like no dust and bugs, and there's no gnats. I, I don't know. I just have to go with that they're fairies. So, one of the fun things I'll be doing, since they seem to appear like by that orange flower that's actually on a, a candle jar 
I think this shelf right up here that you can barely, you can't really see this shelf. I will be clearing that up. Ooh, are you gonna fall? Hmm. I'll be clearing that up. Cleaning that up and putting some little fairy houses on there and stuff. And then I have a bamboo birdhouse in the meditation classroom area. Um, I, I was doing a meditation and I was told that I should put something in the birdhouse for the fairies as well. So that will be fun. Excuse me. That'll be my next little creative venture. I was, so of course then you got to go on Pinterest and look at all these neat things. And there was a lot, it wasn't written in English. I, I kind of think it was written in Russian or something similar. They had like weird symbol letters. I, ah, Greek to me, I don't know. But they were taking like plastic bottles and the first one that I saw took three um, soda bottles, different sizes and put them together like one here and then they cut the bottom off of another one so it was just slightly shorter and then they cut just the top off of one and actually connected it so it was like hanging on on that on the tall one so it was like a, a little condominium it was really cool my description with a piece of wood really is bad um but then so they drew with a sharpie like where windows would be and then this person used tin foil and um, like air drying clay so they would shape the tin foil in like a long snake and then they would make it into a, a circle like uh loop it around like a rope and hot glue as they went and then they shaped that on the top of the bottle in like a neat came to a point is like rounded and then it came to a point and then they rolled out their clay they put the clay on the on the foil and then made it look like shingles and then even on the plastic so they drew like a window and then they put the air drying clay on there all over and then it connected to like the next one and then it connected to the next one and amazing amazing fairy houses and some of them were like in the shape of a teapot or a boot and um, some people actually used a boot um really cool and because i'm such a lover of books and i have antique books everywhere and, and some even have like pressed flowers and stuff in them yet but one of them that i found was a book that opened they opened it this way and then they cut out the center portion of the bottom, put in a low um, plastic container, planted it with little tiny succulents and little flowers, and then put like a tiny little fairy chair there and maybe a little table. And that was like their fairy garden in a book. Well, you know I gotta try that. <laughs> so. Lots of different ideas to try, so I'm kind of excited for that. Um, and that'll that'll be like an ongoing little little hobby that I can do, a little something that I can do. Like the studio is already my hobby gone crazy with the, the stones and making jewelry, and and then you know Reiki and acupressure and being a theta healer and all that kind of stuff. So I guess I got to find something a little newer for me to do. Um, yeah, so I'll be making little fairy houses around the studio for my little fairies. <laughs> but I like the ones with the doors that open. You know, some of them, um, like you can find on Amazon. It's like a ceramic fairy house and you can put a light in it. But like the doors don't open. Well, how's my fairy supposed to get in there? <laughs> she got to climb through the window or... <laughs> So there were a few where the doors opened, but they were like $40 a house. You know, I'm thinking it's just a little, hmm. So I think I'd rather make my own 
and um, my husband and sons and their grandpas used to make birdhouses. So I think I'm a strong, capable woman that I can build a little fairy house. <laughs> so when that happens, I will show you pictures along the way. So anyway, that's what I got for us today. Uh, we have meditation tonight and a friend of mine has surgery coming up and I promised her I would give her some Reiki on me as my treat before her surgery. Try to calm her down a little bit and keep the healing flowing. So some of us are going to do that for her as well. So that'll be nice. And then apparently tomorrow it's supposed to snow and Friday. Mm, I like it when it snows. So, okay guys, I'm off to putter and play in the shop on my vacation day. And then Benny will be here uh, to open us up at 2 o'clock. So I'm going to go and have fun while I still can. So I'll see you. And as always, thank you for tuning in. And I will see you on the flip side.